four diesel heaters on the floor running just under about 170 watts of power and the power station saying it can run it like this for up to eight hours. Hey, if you make an affordable power station that can handle larger than 10 amp loads like a diesel heater, you definitely have my attention. Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here, Adam Off-Road. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Winter is officially here. It's getting cold. We have less daylight and I keep finding myself often coming back to these power stations for quick, convenient access to power. We've used them for emergencies. We take them camping, we take them overlanding, and I even take these to my kids' sporting events and they're just super useful. So with that, I wanted to share with you guys this new power station that I picked up. It's by Afri P210 170 amp hour portable power station. And this one just came out in 2025. And what interested me the most was the direct access to the battery using the XT60 25 amp output port, which we will definitely revisit that later in the video. Now the bulk of this beast is gonna be the 170 amp lithium 10 year life PO4 battery and the DC to AC 120 volt 2400 watt power inverter. Now the way I used to look at these power stations is I could easily just make my own. I got a battery, an inverter, a charger, a couple Anderson pole connectors, and I'd just be done with it. But now I no longer see these power stations in that way because the balance between portable convenience and the affordability of these, including the tech that's built inside of them now, these packages are getting so good that it really doesn't make sense anymore to DIY something like this to tote around or dedicate to a car. Now out of the box, this unit is pretty heavy. It weighs 48 pounds. I mean, it kind of contradicts the portable use of it, but it's got these really stout handles. And for the overall dimensions of the power station, we got 15 and a half inches in length, 11 inches in width, and about 12 and a half inches tall. Now the unit comes with a pretty cool carrying case for the charging cables. This is the 120 volt cable for charging the battery. And it's also used for the built-in ups or power backup in the case that you have a power outage. But we're also gonna revisit that later on in the video. This is gonna be your solar cables. We have the MC4 connectors and the other end is gonna be the XT90 input. The unit has a really nice cover. The material doesn't seem to be waterproof. It would be better if it had some windows on it, if you could like unzip it or open up to access the ports. I thought that would be kind of cool. Overall, it does look like it will offer some protection. Now the unit has a total of four cooling fans, two on each side. You're not gonna want to leave that cover over it while you're using it. You just wanna make sure you have good airflow through this thing if you had something like this. Now to power this thing on, there's this pretty big button right here. You're gonna hold that down for a few seconds. The display will come on, that's how you know that it's on. And then to turn it off, you'll just hold it for a few seconds and it'll turn off. Now I really like that we have this big bright visual display. It shows all of your important information, what's going on with your battery, the level percentage in bars, and yeah, it just pops out really nice and bright. And I'm really impressed with the overall visual statement of the front. Now as you can see on standby, we have nothing connected. It's saying the output has about 54 total hours. It will remain like this before the battery goes dead. On this side, it also tells you how much power the device is consuming. So let's go ahead and test that. We'll go ahead and turn on the light switch. We've got three different modes. You can see on here, it is the just regular on, SOS and flash mode. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can see that it's just only using one watt of power and it looks to be working. Now, it's also gonna show us 50 hertz, but as soon as I plug this thing into a wall charger, it instantly switched over to 60 hertz. I thought that was kind of interesting. So it will recognize European and US grids, which I thought that was actually kind of cool. Now, Afri claims that we can charge this battery from zero all the way up to 100% in about an hour and a half. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll connect it up to the wall now and we'll get it charged up. So there it is. The power station is fully charged up to 100%. I went and cooked some dinner with my family. We came back and it was fully charged under an hour and a half from 26 
all the way up to 100%. So it's actually charging up to what the manufacturer is claiming. Now, I do like that there's another charging option that go along with this, which is the solar input charger. You can charge this thing up to 500 watts at 50 volts DC as uh, another source of charging, which we have the DC to DC charger in the Jeep. So we'll be definitely be using that um, as an alternative to solar and this thing being an alternative to like a generator outside. Now it does make some noise like a generator. There's a lot of power and everything going on inside it, but it's gonna be a lot quieter than a generator. And I think this thing can pretty much do what a generator is gonna do. We're gonna be testing that here pretty soon. But I did wanna mention this is pretty cool storage box that I'll be putting the solar cables on the top here and it just closes up. But other than that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start testing out some of these ports. There's 16 total to power on your devices. We have the 10 amp cigarette lighter socket. We'll go ahead and put this in and flip the switch and we'll turn on the DC side of that and turn it on. So you can see we've got a light. This light is using up 24 watts of DC power. Pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and turn that back off. So that's working. The uh, two USB ports here, we'll just go ahead and plug this in and turn on the USB switch. And you can see the tablet is charging. Four USB-Cs we have here. There's gonna be three of them at 20 watts and one at 100 watts. And we'll just plug in the iPhone and we can see that that's charging. I'm gonna plug in the kettle here and we'll boil some water and see if this thing can cook. All right, turn on the AC side of that. I just heard it kick on and we'll flip on the switch for the kettle. And yeah, about 1050 for the watts on that kettle. And yeah, I can hear it already starting to heat up the cold water inside there. The kettle is boiling the water and it's gonna shut off here pretty soon, but uh, this thing can cook. So I'm really happy with that test, it passed. And we'll move on to plug something else in. So now we know we could heat up hot water and make coffee, hot chocolate at camp. Now we need to see if we can heat up camp. And I've got three diesel heaters plugged into the AC side of this power station and then i've got this cable that i picked up on amazon it's sold separately it's the xt60 to anderson pole i've got one diesel heater already starting up it's saying that i'll be able to run it for about 10 hours at 130 watts i'm getting ready to power on the other two and then we'll power on the dc side and i'll have four heaters running simultaneously so i'm going to go ahead and plug this on in and then we'll hook this last heater up over here. And then I'm gonna turn on the DC circuit. You can see that. And then we'll go ahead and start turning these guys on. And you can see that we're pulling about 500 watts on all the heaters. So all the glow plugs are gonna be on, getting the chambers hot in those diesel heaters and then you can see right now it's saying we can run for about four hours four diesel heaters on the floor running and this power station had no problem starting all of them up pretty much at the same time we're on high on every machine just under about 170 watts of power and the power station saying it can run it like this for up to eight hours. So now I have all the diesel heaters running on the lowest setting and we're only pulling about 45 watts for all heaters. And it's just jumped up to about 20 hours of runtime on a full battery. So that's pretty awesome. I really like that feature that it will show me exactly how many watts the machines are pulling and exactly how much runtime I have on this battery. The Afri app. Uh, just kind of looking through it, it looks pretty cool. Um, I saw that the LED, you can turn that thing on and off with the phone. You can see it turning on and off there. You can also go through the different settings. But as far as everything else, it's pretty straightforward. It has a battery indicator. It tells you what inputs and outputs you have on. You can turn toggle those off as well. All pretty good 
uh, information on knowing what's going on with your battery. Some of these models you're going to have to go into the app to enable the battery backups portion of this power station and then you're good to go. But on the P210 it seems as if it, it's already enabled. With the backups on I'm going to go ahead and pull the power on the AC side of this and we'll see if it takes over. It's charging and we you just seen how it dropped out the inputs over there everything that i have running on the floor here is not even affected by what's going on with the power being out now you want to make sure that your power station doesn't have to have the backups enabled in this case i looked through the app and i put the standby mode up to eight hours for the dc and ac i'm not totally sure if that's it but i couldn't find really anything to enable as far as battery backups and it actually seemed like it was working pretty well now the backups portion for this power station how that works is as the power station is plugged into the wall anything you have plugged into the ac side inverter it's going to use that power directly from your home in the event of a power outage it will reconnect the inverter within 10 milliseconds and start using the power off the battery to power, continue powering your devices. So it's really quick and that's actually what makes these safe to leave plugged into your home all the time. The AC side of this is working really good. Impressed with the ups and yeah, I'm really liking the new tech on the displays here. Everything is looking pretty good. Now, as far as the DC side, we've got access up to 25 amps for higher wattages uh, appliances. And that's, that's pretty awesome where a lot of these other power stations do not offer that as an option. And that's gonna change everything for these higher wattage appliances, especially in really cold weather, like, you know, 10, 15 degrees where these diesel heaters they're going to need a lot more power to start up more fuel more power the colder it is yeah i like that uh it's going to be really big now another thing is power saving a lot of these power stations when you go from battery or dc power to ac back to uh, dc there's a lot of waste inside of that circuit where it's not efficient anymore and you're using more power than you necessarily need so that's another advantage of having direct access to up to 25 amps with your battery is you can run these higher wattage appliances more efficiently so that's definitely a plus right now this power station retails for about 550 dollars and Black Friday's coming up. It's gonna be on sale. If you're interested, definitely you are gonna to wanna to consider getting it around the Black Friday areas is these power stations are gonna be at the lowest price for the year. So yeah, you're gonna to wanna to jump on that because it's coming up pretty quick too. I should have this video out here pretty soon. So with that being said, we're gonna end the video here. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage today. And uh, yeah, I think we have a pretty decent, affordable power station sitting in front of me. And uh, like, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really excited to get out there and start using it. So we're going to end the video here. You guys have a good day and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.